uh, conduct a conversation with uh, the departed, huh? Well, not conduct a conversation as we're doing now, but can uh, discern the presence of, of those who have passed on. But how do you uh, know you're discerning it? Well, fortunately, the uh, party that is experiencing it with me will be able to confirm the information with a yes or a no. I see. Are you ever wrong, George, or are you always right? Uh, the accuracy seems to maintain itself between 85 to 95 percent, but I'm sure there are, uh, there's no such thing as anybody in, in this area ever being 100 percent correct. Anybody who says they are is full of you-know-what. And how long have you had this uh, disability? Uh, it seemed uh, this came to pass after I had, uh, at the age of six, I had a rare attack of chicken pox that caused muscle paralysis. And it was right after that, it seemed I became like a human radio receiver. Mm. And uh, interestingly, when I was speaking to one of the gentlemen from the show, he asked me what I had done before this, and I said, I worked for the telephone company. And I said, I'm still in communications, ha ha. <laughs> I was an operator for a number of years, and maybe in a sense, I still am. Mm. All right, fine. Well, we'll Except the we... rates are a lot different. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to test uh, your, uh, your talent right now. We have selected uh, some random, uh, randomly selected people from our audience, and here's a young lady right now. All she has to say really is uh, hello she to George. She can just say hello, and the hi. thing is, I hi. The thing is, I always pose with the audience is this is definitely something that's experimental. Okay. It may bomb, and there's no shame in sure. expecting that in any case. Do you have a pen handy? Or something? Do I have a pen? No, but here's one right over there. Throw it over, Bobby. Okay. There okay. You go, now, of course, uh, whatever I would say to you, just say yes or no. Okay. I'll see what comes through. I just, the, you know, my hand isn't under any mysterious control or anything like that. It's just a form of distraction. That's all it is. Okay. Hmm. First of all, I do discern a male presence around you. Uh, definitely comes in. Actually, there's two. Um, a grandfather has passed on, yes? Yes. Okay. He seems to speak another language, that's correct? Yes. Okay, because I hear another language in the background. He spoke it fluently, or at least certainly had knowledge of it. Yes. There's another male close to you that's passed on also that's younger? Uh, Just say yes or no. Yes. Okay. Family also? No. Okay, friend then I'll have to say, yes. obviously. Very close though. Yes. Okay, because he... It's not somebody that's an acquaintance. No. This is somebody that's close enough where I could classify him as family, and he did pass on young by today's standards. Yes. Okay. He's less than 50. Yes. Not that above 50 is old. <laughs> <laughs> but he's less than 50 in any case, he tells me. He passed on tragically, yes? Yes. In the sense of age as well as circumstances? Yes. You do pray for him, yes? Yes. Because he thanks you for prayer and asks that please continue. I wouldn't say he was overly religious, but he knows the value of it. And he says to me that this can be symbolic, so please just say yes or no. Um, is, I can classify his passing as like an accident? Yes. Not a vehicle accident? No. Because he says, that's the symbol I'm seeing, but it is not what I'm seeing, he tells me. But I can classify it as an accident. Uh, their romantic interest with you and he? His son. Okay, because he hands you a heart symbol of romantic interest. He did pass on from health trouble, yes? Yes. Yes, he says health trouble. Something affecting the chest. Mm-hmm. Feels like a heart attack. Lungs. Okay, because it feels his pain all across the chest, I'm getting told. You know his family, yes? Yes. Because he definitely says, please tell the family you've heard from me. He had something like lung cancer? Yes. That's what he says. That's why I'm getting the pain all in the chest area. He says something like lung cancer passed on from. Um, I heard you mention before his son. Can I? I can obviously assume you're like dating his son, or yes. you were at one time. Okay, because that's what's probably where the heart, the romantic interest comes in. He seems to tell me he had a very rough time prior to his passing. Yes. But he's fine and at peace. He went into a coma. At the he, end. Yeah, he fades out. He tells me he goes into a coma. He makes the transition into the next stage in that, and he says. Um, he shows me a vision of St. Joseph, which means he had a happy death. His wife is still living, yes? Yes. Okay, because he calls out to his wife. He says, please tell you have heard from me. He's fine at peace. Um, they seem to be a fairly spiritual family. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say religious. I want to say spiritual more so. Uh, I get the name Joseph around. Do you mean anything at all to you? That's his name. Really? I s okay, are you, I believe you. <laughs> he said, I'm very cynical about this and very skeptical, so... Because he says, this is Joe, this is Joseph. 
and the language, it almost sounds like Italian or Spanish or something like this. Italian. Okay, because it is. It's, uh, it's a romance language, he tells me. I've got one out of four in that. But he says it's like Italian, he tells me. Because he said somebody referred to him as Giuseppe. Or Joe, this is Joseph. And he says that he's finding that peace in the next stage. We're almost out of time, uh, George, for this segment. Okay. Any final thoughts? Or? Basically, um, are you still seeing your son? Oh, yeah. Okay, because he just says, please tell my family you have heard from me. That he's fine, that peace. He asks that the prayers continue. That considering the anguish, the despair the family went through prior to his passing, he says that he's fine. That the suffering is over. He's at peace in the next stage of life. And it's still very much with us, just in a spiritual form. Okay. Thank you very much. You. I would say uh, you were right on with that one. Yeah. We'll be back in just a moment. Continue with this. The term homeless does not only apply to bag ladies. Meet an entire family who live in their car here after the morning show. No wonder they call it Super Tuesday. 20 states, over 2,000 delegates. A single day that could put real punch into some campaigns and leave others on the ropes. Stay tuned to Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 5, 6, and 11 for the latest developments and expert analysis. It's the biggest battle to date in the race for the Oval Office as the candidates prepare to move into our area for crucial primary battles in the weeks ahead. Super Tuesday coverage on Eyewitness News Tuesday here on Channel 7. This is Hawaii, paradise bound. Aloha, I'm Ed Hogan, owner of Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays, where we've made paradise affordable. This is Pleasant's low price for a full week in Waikiki. It includes airfare and hotel, and all the paradise you can handle. Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays, see your travel agent. We make paradise affordable. I can't tell by feeling which cotton socks were washed and which fabric softener, which belonged to my husband and which belonged to some other guy. Hmm, which is which? But with my eyes open, I can see that this is wider and this is brighter. It could only be final touch. It could only be Jack. Wider, brighter softness. Only final touch fabric softener. Did anyone ever tell you that you have beautiful feet? Ladies and gents, your attention, please. You say you want a crib, stroller, high chair, plate pen, car seat, or a toy? You say you want courteous service and low, low discount prices? You say you want a big, big selection? All that and save money, too? Well, well have we got the, the place, place for you. you. Coronet is open seven days a week where you get giant discounts for little people. That's right, folks. Coronet for baby furniture and toys, but no talking orangutans. Coronet, 1111 Old Country Road, Westbury. If you're 17 to 20 and aren't afraid of working hard to help others, the City Volunteer Corps will train you, pay you, and help you continue your education. Call CVC. We're talking about George Anderson's uh, conversations with the other side uh, in this uh, book called We Don't Die, and we're getting a demonstration of how he uh, is in contact with the people from the other side using folks from our audience who have not been uh, pre-selected. They just come up here, and it's nice to have you here. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to say hello to George. Hi, George. Hi. Okay. Now, let's see. And, of course, whatever I say to you, just say yes or no. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. I get a strong female presence around you. A female passed on close to you? Yeah. It's definitely female. She is family. Mm-hmm. By blood, because mm -hmm. she says family, by blood, passed on young by today's standards. Yeah. If this is what I think it is, I'll tell the story in a minute. <laughs> Can I say she passed, she did pass on as a young person? Yeah. Health trouble? Mm -hmm. You took care of her. She's very grateful to you being good to her prior to her passing. I'll leave it go. Now, she says I'm the daughter passed on. Rather, obviously, she's somebody's daughter. <laughs> but she, that is correct. She would be, uh, she's not your daughter. Mm -hmm. No, because she says she is not your daughter, although she is the daughter that passed on. Um, and she did pass on young by today's standards. I asked you that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Now, I can consider her a young adult. Well, don't answer me, because I'd consider 40 young adult. Mm -hmm. 
So it should be a question of time. Very strong motherly vibration to you. It is your mom. No. Mo like a mother though? Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's a very strong motherly vibration. So that'd have to be like an aunt, grandmother, something like this. But she comes in as a very, like almost like a second mother. Very strong motherly. She keeps emphasizing mother, mother, mother. That's right. Okay, mom, I'm not going to argue with you. Mm -hmm. Mother. <laughs> but as long as you can understand why she emphasizes mother, that's the main thing. I do. <laughs> okay, that's that's all I have to know. The, the the information goes to you, not to me. So that's the main thing. Also, health concern mm -hmm. from the passing. Uh, health concern affecting the abdominal area. It keeps going like this. Okay. Did anything start there, or was, there seems to have been an effect in the abdominal area? In any case, she wants to let you know she's fine at peace. As a matter of fact, you felt a little guilty about her passing. Like you Very were guilty. there or something? Yeah. Get over the guilt, yeah. she says. She says to me that you felt awkward. And I didn't like that because to me, everybody's going to feel awkward about someone's passing. And she said, no, she felt guilty about my passing because you felt you didn't do enough. You felt you weren't there enough for her. We've got a minute left, George. Okay. And she says, don't do that to yourself. Don't punish yourself with guilt that she's fine and at peace. She understands. She knows that you love her. And she says to let it go. Is there a Mary passed on with you? Mary or Marie, Maria, even if it was years ago, you know, you didn't have to know them personally. Could be family or friend, but as long as it's somebody close, not take the name at all. Mm, that's my middle name, but... Because mm, I hear her saying I Mary, but if she's going to give me her middle, middle name. She's got to give a first. I'd be more happy with that. All right, in any case, I'll leave it go with you. Um, you're employed? No. Going to be? I hope so. She talks about you getting a job. <laughs> oh, really? She talks about a change in job. And she tells me that it will happen shortly. I'll have to say that's within 1988. Great. And she does tell me it will be positive. She's helping you. She's like a guardian angel to you. She's trying to help you move into this transition of job. Do you think that George has uh, kind of accurately just talked about this yes, person? Yes, I do. It's amazing. How is she related that's to you serious. that she comes in as mother? We found out, I found out after she died that she was my husband's real mother. Oh, no wonder she kept saying mother, mother-in-law, I never thought about so that. So he has okay. two mothers, okay. my kids have mother two, figure, three mother grandmothers. Figure, mother, she kept that saying. is okay. a confusing one. Thank you very, very much. George, terrific having you on the show. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. You. The name of the book Thank again you. is We Don't Die, and we'll be right back in a moment.